Hey, Drew. Hey, what are we doing? Well, you know how to make focaccia, but I'm going to show you how to make pizza. Oh, good. With a stone in the oven. Hmm. And a couple of very important things. You have to have a peel. You need cornmeal to put on there so you can slide it into the oven. And you're going to find that this is one of the best pizzas you've ever eaten in your life. <laughs> it's basically your same recipe. We're already eating it, actually. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's delicious. So, that's it. check it out. Okay, when you make um, pizza or anything you yeast, the most important thing is the water has to be warm but not hot. So I always tell people it's kind of like a baby bottle. And we use about a cup of water to three cups of flour. And then you cut your, now this, you could use a teaspoon and a half or two of yeast that comes regular, or you can use a packet, either one works. And then I always put a little bit of sugar, just to give the yeast something to eat. And then I stir it up and let it bloom. And that means it's going to foam up and it's going to look lively in there. You'll see little bubbles of stuff coming up. And that means your yeast is good and you can use it, okay? Now we're going to measure our flour. And normally it's about three cups of flour to the one cup of water. But as with yeast and everything else, bread making, it has a lot to do with moisture that's in the air. So you have to kind of sometimes be, um, you have to be flexible. You can't be one of these people that go, you said three cups and that's all there can be. No, it's not true. Sometimes you need a little more, sometimes you need a little less. So don't get stressed over that. I just eyeball my olive oil. It's kind of like one or two tablespoons of olive oil. And normally I'll use sea salt for this, but use whatever salt you have. That's probably about a teaspoon or something, but Italians are famous for putting things in their hands. We don't really measure, so. Now I'm going to do this in the cuisine art. And I'm just mixing up the flowers, the salt, the olive oil. And now if you want to come in here and see what's happening to my yeast, it's blooming. So that means it's good. So we can turn on the cuisine art. Pour it in. You kind of hold back a little bit on the water to see. But basically, we want to see a dough come in there. We want it to do what it's doing right there. And when it's good, it's just going to go in a ball and knead. So, sometimes I'll open it up and look and go, is there enough moisture in here? To tell you the truth, I think there must be. I'm just going to give it a few more. The thing is because you have the feeling, so you have to feel things and you kind of got to have a good, you have to kind of get into it. I think we could use maybe just a tiny, tiny bit more water, but not much. And then, voila, we've got beautiful dough here. And this one is wheat and white flour together. It's a little bit multigrain. And then you stick it on here. You know, you don't need all this fancy equipment. This can be done with hardly anything. Do that, knead it. It should feel warm and smooth, and it does. Oops. And there's your dough. And I usually, I don't know why I always do this, I pull it from underneath like that. And I'm going to be wanting to put it in a bowl with some olive oil and uh, cover it up and let it raise. And just stick it in there. 
go like this, turn it around, and I don't know why I always do this. I kind of, kind of do this because then you can tell when it's starting to come up. And then I'm just going to cover it, put it in a place, like the oven, on top of the oven or anywhere where it could be warm, and let it rise over there. If it's sunny, you can put it in a sunny spot on the table, and in the summer, I actually put it outside. Okay, so that's Cuisine Art Way. And I think Drew's going to show us how to do it in the bowl. And here's Drew, my oh brother. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. We're going to make a pizza dough. We already made it uh, with Cuisinart. We're now going to make it by hand. So you already know pretty much everything that goes in. We're going to start off with three cups of flour. We're adding the yeast to the warm water. So now we're going to add a little bit of sugar to the yeast. Just a little bit. Just a... No big deal. Let's not go add too much. And let's give that a little swirl there. And we'll let that sit. So now we're going to need about quarter cup of oil. Alright, and uh, just add that right. We'll make a little indention in the middle of the flour here. And add that to the center. Put a little bit of salt in here. He does it the same way I do. Just a little bit, doesn't matter. And now we're going to add a little bit of water with our yeast mixture right into the middle. Mm. So we're going to add a little bit more. Mix it around. I like to keep one hand with my as the dough mixer and one as a clean hand. Wow. Okay. I'm going to keep adding water here. Mm -hmm. Just slowly add it. Uh, it's okay if you add too much water. You just add a little bit more flour. And if you don't have enough water, you just add more water. And this is the part that takes a little bit of time. Um, you have to take it, take your time and make sure it comes out right. It's easier in a Cuisinart. Uh, but if you don't have a Cuisinart, this is not hard. And plus you could tell everyone you made it by hand. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they, they're very impressed. Okay. Then do you turn it out? Well, I'm still trying to make sure I add enough uh, moisture to it. Oh. It's looking pretty good. You want it to all stick together. Right now it's not. You can mm -hmm. see there's lots of loose flour left. Oh. So, we just have to keep mixing. I think I need some more water. We don't have to use all the flour. Here comes Moby. Hey Moby. Moby. We're busy. Moby, Moby. Wants to make pizza. You like pizza? Okay, this is actually looking up pretty good. <laughs> There's no pizza for you here. Sorry, Moby. No pizza for you, Moby. <laughs> okay. So now you can see my hand is starting to come clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. I'm starting to use both hands now. It is a little sticky. Mm -hmm. uh, we want everything to, you have from the bowl. Yeah, we're going to, that means there's too much water, so we're going to just take up whatever uh, flour was left in the bowl. Just throw a little flour on the board here. Mm -hmm. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. All right, I mean, this is basically done mm -hmm. at this point. Okay, so I mean, at this point, we can just kind of roll this up mm -hmm. in the ball and, and we're going to let it to raise. There's the handmade version uh, versus the machine made. And we're gonna put it right in here. Just like that. Okay, like this, put it somewhere warm, like right next to our other. And now you get to rest for a little while. So then I usually set like an hour alarm. Mm -hmm. And then go do something fun. That's it. Ta-da!